Don't underestimate him. Get ready. That's right.
Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Mm -hmm. You think he's a keeper? been up to, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround? That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> hmm. Wait. Hmm? Got a question for you all. What? Ever been attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic-induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order, maybe? This Lucky train us. From We've got a crowd to hide Head for the front of the train and hold there. Due to an explosion at Marco Reactor 1, an emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. The highway collapsed right in front of me. So cramped. Can't believe I'm excited to see the slums. Do you Hey, got a sec? I forgot you had a bed this morning. Just called in sick. The fire was really big. Little help, Cloud, please. I can't stop thinking about it. The bomb I made shouldn't have produced an explosion that big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't a reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? <sighs> Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, <gasps> quit talking <gasps> out your ass. <sighs> Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. Hmm? Just... Just who do you think you are? A law-abiding concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, shh! Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear, y'all's masters. We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Those fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> you hear 
that suit shouldn't retrieve my ass. <sighs> Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar. Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. Don't worry. Our IDs are impeccable. What I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust. The air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> that's what's always worked for me. <sighs> well, that's all well and good. If you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> ah. hmm. Now get some r, r You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Uh, at Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting, she'll worry. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. 
I mean, look at all that steel work. You're trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> 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 What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? <laughs> You're such a kidder. I can't remember the last time I saw a real one. Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Uh. Hey! Uh, what the Barrett. hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. <laughs> That's right, honey, I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, Daddy. Mm, all right, but just this once. <sighs> uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um... Daddy, did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me, then. How was it up on the plate? It was... chaotic. When the Mako Sorry reactor for dragging you into all this. It was wrong it was of me crazy. to put you in danger like I that. that I news. promise I won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. <sighs> I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. Not <laughs> good at all. I don't know what it is, but my life feels so, so you empty. make nice with everyone? Not as I could, all things considered. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. Uh, 
I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. I'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells me to. They so, saw it burning. It wasn't that bad? Were safe. It was. Oh, right. And here we are. Good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with Seventh Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get it- There is one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> Guess it's time for introductions. Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure.
Well now, you must be Cloud. <clears throat> I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything, even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. My husband decided to go to the city. with that Barrett guy a few times. Looks like a real hard ass, but he's actually pretty chill. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <laughs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <clears throat> Most every home in the area has one. Folks <clears throat> love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. We bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you say? <sighs> Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. Everyone's Thanks. And don't worry, it's we'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds time. too. Don't take as long as I get it all today. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. All the items you could want are straight from the He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's is a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. <sighs> Can't help but take a little pleasure in their panic. More than a little. Apparently it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. This isn't the first time they've ever come. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for ya. Tifa! My dear, dear girl! Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit. Big sword, but no skills. 
I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. <sighs> Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You been here a while now? Five years, give or take. Game. How? But never mind that. Absolutely. We've got to get you your money. Last stop is the weapons drawer. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? Huh? Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <clears throat> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well, when will Barra be back with the rest? <sighs> Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. We gotta do something about the monsters on screen. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the Neighborhood Watch? That depends. What does this Neighborhood Watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the Watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in Gil, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. <laughs> All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud, I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? Lead on. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. Do something about the monsters on that boulevard. 
Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare, just in case. The watch is here to keep I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. And there's our first challenge. No. Show me what you got, Cloud. Wow, so that's what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm-up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. Get ready. It's over. Enough. All right. <laughs> You're good at this. Charging in like it was nothing. You too. It's a little surprising. Well, I've been here five years now. If you don't look out for yourself, no one else will. By the way, that one's gonna be on the test. This a lesson? Gotta learn if you're gonna stick around. Okay, let's wrap this up. Let me handle this! I think that might be the last of them. You won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Searching for candidates. Tally of Monster Slain has been updated. Got new numbers for Monster Slain this month. Check them out. Here's someone got rid of. Back already? Got every last one too. Now the slum should be safe. You guys are machines. Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you gotta do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. <clears throat> oh. You okay? Fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Uh, Sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair! Think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. <sighs> hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. You hear someone got rid of all the monsters on Scrap Boulevard? You know... Hold up. Heard there's a merc that'll take on any monster. You the man? Word spreads fast around here. What if I am? Sorry about before. 
I get antsy when business is slow. Ugh. Man in your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on for size? Yours on the house. Badass like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Or if you want to take a look at something else. Just a look. Don't be a stranger. Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on, let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know, could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. Searching for candidates. Ah, uh, hey there, Tifa. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, uh, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself at these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle and bone structure. An optimal candidate! My name is Chadley. I'm an intern for Shinra's Research and Development Division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of materia, as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent! Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. Never want for work around here if you prove yourself useful. Is it just me, or are there more cats hanging around that vacant lot lately? It's so bad, we might have to close up shop. Hey there, Tifa. Welcome back. And you, the new Merc in town looking for work, right? Yeah. In that case, maybe you could do something about the Doom Rats? Them and their were-rat buddies have been tearing up town, looking for food and whatnot. Got into the store and made one hell of a mess, let me tell you. 
Oh, you think that's funny, do you? Don't lie. I saw you crack a smile. Well, do the job and you can laugh it up for all I care. Anyway, they're probably nesting in the outskirts. Now I've heard a were rat in pain will call its friends for help. And the whole rat pack will come running just like that. All the items you can find straight from the plate. No matter your needs or your budget, our wide selection of items. That landlady. The watch is saying they're gonna step up. Don't try anything. Next item on the friend. Lots of girls. What's the source of all? <clears throat> I still oh. can't. I'm not gonna let you sleep. There's no space, man. I think we could get some money. around hmm. what do you think should we wait you know this might be a waste of time let's head back to the store and touch base for now to handle? I'm just messing with you. Heard you took out some wear rats, which is nice and all, but the job was to wipe up the doom rats. No big. Get back out there and finish the job, and we're good. Don't look so glum. It's only a matter of time till they show. You'll get them this time for sure. All the items you can want are straight from the place. you're that merc I've heard so much about. You're not here to shop, are you? People were right. You look like you can handle yourself. So some drakes have made themselves at home in the abandoned Talliger factory. Can't have that kind of trouble around here. My regulars will do anything to get their hands on the scrap in there, and if they run into those drakes, they could get hurt. I'll handle it. Much obliged, sir. Head on over to the old Talliger factory and talk to Narjan. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. Shops on Culvert Street. Stock goods you won't find in the record. So I was at the Honey Bee. The woman of my dreams.
my sister on the plane. Come on, give me your You never know. If the planet's a living thing. There are monsters on the plate too, right? Factory's off limits. Drakes have been spotted inside. Huh? Wait a minute. Tifa? Don't tell me you're here to take care of those things. Are you? In that case, be my guest. We believe there's at least two groups lurking somewhere inside the factory. Find and cull them all. Reports said the drakes looked like they were nesting. Need you to clear them out. Let's end this quick. You're dead. See ya. Burn! Nothing.
No holding for nothing. Burn. Let's go. 